Well, hello. Today we're going to talk about vitamin D in relationship to your immune system. Now, I had this idea that I already had this video and I searched and I couldn't find it. There may be a video out that I just can't find that I already did, but I'm just going to do a video specifically on the immune system. First thing you need to know is that vitamin D is intimately connected to every single immune reaction. In fact, the white blood cells have the ability to make vitamin D active. So vitamin D is very important. In fact, viruses, as one of their strategies, is to downgrade or turn off the vitamin D receptor. So you can't get any more vitamin D because apparently they know that vitamin D is very, very important. And so that's one way that they thrive. So vitamin D deficiencies occur when there's not enough sun, right, in the winter. Uh, why do you think we have the spike of flu and other uh, viral infections? It's because the vitamin D is low. In fact, in the pandemic of 1918, the Spanish flu, it peaked in January, which is in the winter. Now, another thing that's interesting about the winter months, or basically between November and March, we have much higher incidence of autoimmune diseases like lupus, MS, type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, irritable bowel disease. Why? Because vitamin D is a natural, kind of a steroid, anti-inflammatory, and so it has a key function in reducing inflammation. When you have an autoimmune disease, the thing that really creates the damage is the inflammatory process. So if you have enough D, you can have a lot less inflammation. It's the inflammation that causes all the collateral damage. And what's wild about this is our own body is creating the damage. And so that's just, it's just really bizarre. Vitamin D is a immunomodulator, okay? What does that mean, modulator? It means that it helps to normalize something that is too much or too little. So it brings into a normal range. And specifically, when we talk about like the cytokine storm where you have this hyperinflammatory condition, we have this overreaction, vitamin D can actually calm it down. The key cell that's involved with suppressing this, these cytokines or these inflammatory um, compounds is the T regulatory cell. Next thing we're gonna talk about is there's two compounds that your immune system makes as antimicrobials. And both of these need vitamin D. Vitamin D is essential in producing these two compounds. The first one is called catholicidins. And catholicidins are produced by the phagocytes, macrophages and neutrophils to act as a weapon to kill off microbes. And they tend to damage the wall of the cell, the cellular membrane of the pathogen, and punch a hole in it. And if there's not enough vitamin D, you'll have just too much inflammation. And one side effect would be psoriasis. Many times people with psoriasis have gut problems and they can't absorb vitamin D, in which case they need to take higher doses. Next chemical is defensin. You need vitamin D to make defensin. Defensin is needed in the mucous membranes. Uh, breast milk has defensin. It's a very powerful antimicrobial. If you don't have vitamin D, this can also get out of control and it can create rosacea. Another remedy for rosacea, which is like the uh, reddish cheeks, vitamin D. Now, before antibiotics, doctors used a vitamin D compound in cod liver oil as the remedy to help infections like TB, for example. So cod liver oil was used, sun was recommended for TB, but then it came antibiotics and then the cod liver oil was no longer talked about except by your grandmother. Cod liver oil is a really good source of vitamin D and vitamin A for the mucous membranes and omega-3 fatty acids, DHA, and EPA. But the sun not only gives you vitamin D, but it has other properties too that can help lower infection. There are therapeutic benefits from the UV uh, light and other wavelengths, including infrared. I just want to give you an overall understanding of the importance of vitamin D and also let you know that it's 
virtually impossible to get your vitamin D from food. You need to get it from sun, ideally. And during the winter months, take it as a supplement. See you in the next video. Hey, we're back. With another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.